Okay, folks, let's see uh, where to get the next pattern. Go down to pattern focus. Sorry, I'm a little, a little distracted today. So, whatever. Okay, let's see. What did we do last? Last we did random, so we need to do this one. Rangoli liner. No idea how to say that. Let's see, is there a video? Yes, somebody else drew this pattern. So, um, you might want to try this. Uh, I think I think that's an Ellen Walters video. It looks like the way she does hers. Um, cool what? Open that bigger so I can see it. I guess that's as big. It should open bigger. There it goes. My phone's really slow today. I guess between videos, I'm gonna have to reboot. Okay, so it's it's a uh, looks like it's a ribbon-like pattern. Although the step out or the sample shows it curving quite a bit, so it looks like you can you know vary. vary what you do with it okay step number one we're going to make circles and looks like you could probably go around a couple of times to make them a little bit bolder step number two we're gonna make this sort of arch shape or if you turn it this way you know it's like a C see this way and a backwards see this way right we're gonna make that shape um, one on the top then one on the bottom one on the top one on the bottom and so forth and then on either the other side oh sorry wow on the other side opposite that arch uh, we're going to do a loop so we got the arch and we got the loop. Arch and loop. And if you have it, if it's easier for you to, you know, draw this one and then this one and then turn it around and draw this one and, and that one, do whatever you need to do to get it done, right? And then we're going to uh, echo that right here. And then we're going to put little petal shapes from that loop that way on both sides and it looks like that one is done very cool this one is a, a pattern by Smita Tok and uh, yeah very cool but I like I like this where the the circles were put first in a line and then it's like well let's let's go around the corner so I'm probably going to make my circles follow a, a, a windy sort of a string because I like this look so let's give that a go I'm going to turn on my light close your eyes everyone yeah, it's not too bad okay um do I want a colored tile I've done all of them this week on white let me do a a slightly colored tile. Let's do me a border. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go like that. Make myself a swoop. I may not use the border. Yeah, and I got too close to the edge here. Let me let me change my swoop. I don't want to be so close to the edge with my swoop. Okay, let's do it more like more like that. Better. Okay. So yeah, I don't want to. I want to get too close to the edges and I'm just going to kind of follow that 
I'm just going to make sure that I have an uh, even number of little circles. One, two, four, five. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter. So I'll just make the circles as I feel led to do. <sighs> Working today uh, really hard on um, letting go. Today is one of those days where I'm, my anxiety is, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, anxiety wise, I'm probably up there in an 8. Yeah, probably. So, just some stuff going on. Uh, mostly dealing with contractor business and finances. So, you know, it'll all be fine eventually. It's just right now very anxiety producing. And so... I just have to kind of trust and let my hubby handle most of it because, you know, it's it's really easy for me to get overwhelmed. After I had that that uh, sort of breakdown uh, several years back and had that that really bad anxiety attack, um, I do tend to be more anxious than I used to be, although I've always been a so pretty anxious person, to be honest. But letting go of control is not my strong suit. I'm going to go ahead and make those little go this way and that way and that way and that way. So yeah, uh, anxiety and worry is something that I, I deal with every single day. Most days I don't have problems. I say most days. Then, then there are days where it just, it just is there. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that, and then on the other side, I'm going to do a loop, and I don't know which is the easier way to draw the loop. I don't know if it's easier for me to draw a loop going upward, or if it's easier for me to draw a loop going downward, so I'm going to practice both. I think I made the loop, they just look different either way, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do them. Drawing Zentangle helps a lot with my anxiety, which I almost didn't, I almost didn't come on to, um, to draw today because I thought, you know, I'm really having a day. I'm having a really tough time. And then I thought, you know what, I need to draw. That's how I'm going to get through this tough time. Um. Drawing and prayer are my two skill sets, my two go-tos as to how I deal with stuff. And uh, I've been praying, and I will continue to pray, um, but I also need to draw. So we're going to make these little petals going like that on each side of the loop. Oops, I missed a step. Darn it. It's supposed to have an aura. Well, we'll just stick one in there. Did you guys yell at me? Probably did. 
I should have done that aura first before I did the the loop that would have reminded me all right stick that in there but yeah you know, I almost told myself you know you have lots of time tomorrow you have the day off tomorrow you don't need to do any videos today and I almost did. I almost blew it off and said, you know, I can do something else. I can just wallow, wallow in my worry. And that is not healthy. So I decided, you know what, Don, you need to take care of your mental health. And part of that is drawing. That's how you do it. And so here I am. Do I need to share this with you? No, probably not. But I am because I feel like I feel like being honest with um, with what's going on is important. So you guys know that you know it's okay to have days where things aren't going your way. And, um, you know, you can use your skills that you have to get through them. Uh, I don't always feel like I'm successful at getting through my day, but I don't know how people get through their anxiety filled days if they don't have um, mechanisms for coping. So, this is this is something that I really truly believe is should be should be taught in the mental health industry. Um, as a coping skill. This isn't the only coping skill. There are many. Um, my husband chooses bike riding as his coping skill. And that's awesome. Besides having his... mental health stable he's also getting some awesome exercise and his body is strong and that's wonderful I must admit that the things that I do are not encouraging to a strong body because drawing needs sitting and painting needs sitting or standing, but not walking. And my other love that I love to do is reading. Not usually something you can do while you're exercising. So, you know, I need to find an outlet to help me to be more healthy. Um... And that is one of the reasons I'm looking forward to the spa that we're going to get. It's a swim spa. So I will be able to exercise more regularly using it. So that's good. I think I want to, I'm going to go ahead and fill those in, color that bit in. Oops, wrong pen. Need a bigger one, Ib. You know, I like this Zig Millennium pen. Um, I like this 01 size. But I'm finding that the 08 with the bigger nib, I don't know, it's a little scratchy. It's not as smooth as their 01 nib. It works fine. 
and I'm not going to stop using it until I've run out of ink, but I probably won't purchase another of this size. So oh, yeah, what I was saying is we got the swim spa, which is going to be, it has a, a really big motor at one end. And it creates a current that you can swim against. And even if I don't actually swim using it, I can use the, um, the tethers on the side and kind of anchor myself in the middle of the pool. And I can walk against the current and that will be really good. I'm actually looking forward to it. And then, of course, after I'm done exercising, I can sit at the other end with the jets and have them massage my back. And that will be just an awesome thing. So I'm actually looking forward to that. That should be maybe within the next month. It needs a couple of weeks for the... um for the concrete pad that got poured to um, cure before we can put the weight on it. Um, and then we also need to make sure that they have access to the backyard right now. It's all dug up on the side and we're going to try to get a driveway in there. I don't know how long that will take. So we'll see. See what happens. All right. I'm good with that. Yep. All right. So what I want to do, that's, that's the pattern. It's done, basically. I want to embellish this tile some more, though. I don't think that's enough for a tile to be to feel complete. I want something else in here, but I want something complementary to this tangle. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to aura the whole thing though, so that. And I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking. I want. Yeah, I think I want a little bit of dark in each of those, just the middle part. And then I'm going to aura the whole tangle. And then maybe add Sanibel or something that, that's complementary to this tangle. Listening to music helps my anxiety as well, but I can't do that. I can do that when I'm regularly drawing. Um, put on my favorite praise songs and classical, jazz, something like that. And uh, that helps also with my anxieties, but can't do that while I'm on the YouTubes. Or I will get zinged for content ID, and I don't want that. I don't want them taking my video off because I don't have permission to share a song. So I just don't listen to music while I am drawing for the channel. Listening to music and drawing Zentangles go really well together. Um, 
the days that I go to uh, get a massage, I actually go a little bit early so that I can sit in their quiet room. They always have their spa music going, you know, the, the, the soft, whatever it is that they play. They all seem to be similar, just kind of spa music. Uh, waves and 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 soft piano and and flute and really pretty stuff um i'm trying to decide what i want to put here <laughs> there was one that i was going to put but but now I don't, now that I've put the aura, I, I don't feel it. That's interesting how that happened. Um, I'm going to put some sand swirl. If you guys don't know sand swirl, I've got a video on it somewhere, I think. It's pretty simple. You just put like a, a loop, one loop, and then you'll come back and you just echo that or aura it. And that's it. And sometimes I do it only three times and sometimes I do it four or five. It depends on my mood. Yeah, I will go to the uh, to the appointment a little bit early. Well, not a lot early, but um, maybe 15 minutes. Sometimes uh, if they don't have another appointment, if the therapist doesn't have an, another appointment in front of mine, um, they will take me early anyway, so... It's okay to go early, but if not, I sit in the quiet room and listen to the music and draw. And that always just puts me in a nice relaxed space so that when I do have my massage, I'm already in a, in a zone that uh, is conducive to relaxation, positivity. That's a good thing. So, like I said, I don't know how people go through life if they don't have coping mechanisms for their stress and their anxiety. Um, especially if you have uh, anxiety. Because um, there's, there's stress and, and anxiety is different than stress. Um, because I can be stressed about all sorts of things. Um, I can have a stress at work or, or, you know, just at home, one thing or another. Um, you know, like this construction is stressful. Um, but most of the time it doesn't cause me anxiety. Um, when I start to get anxious is when my brain just won't stop. I can't I can't focus on anything else because it's like a, a movie that's stuck in my head and it just goes round and round and round and it just won't stop and and it's not the actual thing that um, is stuck in there it's a perceived um, usually 
bad result of something that hasn't actually happened and may not happen and probably won't happen. Um, you know, I will get worried about one thing or another and then my mind goes off and the next thing I know, you know, my brain has, has, has decided that, you know, not, not only, uh, not only am I worried about, you know, how much money we're spending, but now all of a sudden I'm broken in the streets and, um, and, and living out of my car. Well, I know that that is not logical and that's not what's going to happen in this situation. I know that in my head, you know, in, but my anxiety doesn't seem to know that, that it's, that's not real. And, and I start dwelling and that's not good. So, you know, or sometimes I will start, I will have a panic attack, which until I had one, I didn't realize what they were like. And they're hard to describe to somebody who's never had one. Because I had a friend try to describe her experience to me um, before I'd had one. And it was like, well, just get over it. Just stop. You know, yeah, it's, it's not that easy. Um... You would think it would be something you could just, you know, like I said, like just get over it. But it is, you, you just don't get over it. Uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I want some darker behind, but I don't want black. I'm going to go find my gray. Don't drop things. I'm going to find a gray. Um, which gray do I want? I want this one. Sort of medium gray. This is a Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen. It's cold gray number 3232. I'm just going to use that. It's got a brush tip to it. I'm going to put that in here behind this sand swirl. So yeah, uh, there is a difference between anxiety and stress. And I'm not a psychologist and I can't do a very good job of verbalizing the differences, but I can feel it. I know when there's just a normal kind of a stress and when I start to have anxiety that's it's it's different and so today today was anxiety reared its little ugly head but I'm already feeling a little better than I did when I first picked up the pen which is a good thing So your Zentangle is, is not about the end product. If the end product is pretty, that's a bonus. 
but when you are finished drawing, if you feel better in yourself, if you have become more centered, more grounded, uh, if your anxiety has, has lessened, if your pain has lessened, um, even physical pain. Uh, lots of times when I'm drawing, I, I, I'm focused on the drawing instead of focusing on the pains, the aches and pains that I have, and they go away. Even if they're not gone permanently, they go away temporarily and there's a relief that happens. So, you know, the end product is not the point of drawing Zentangle. And if you say, well, I can't draw, it doesn't look good, then you don't have the right point. The point is not to make it look good. I mean, it was nice if it looks good, but that's not the point. The point is for you to get in that mental place where you feel better and um, I'm starting to get there I feel like I want some color today yeah I want just a little bit of color and I always like it when there's some red in a tile so where's my red pen or maybe pink oh maybe purple purple came out. I mean, this one is a Micron PN pen. See, it's got a different kind of nib. It's a plastic nib. It's good for those people who, um, oh, you can hardly tell that from black. Oh, that's all right. It's just enough that I can tell. Um, it's really good for people who are heavy handed and who tend to squash the nibs of the Microns. That's weird that that's what I chose. I knew that this purple was dark. Huh. Okay. Not what I thought I was doing, but it's what happened. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm already feeling better. I think by the time I'm done drawing the next couple of drawings, which are today's thing I need to video, I will be feeling a little bit better. Might not completely get rid of my stress, but it will get rid of my anxiety. And that is the important part, I think. So this one also is a micron um, with the regular nib. It's a micron 05 pink. Have any of you guys tried the... Um, there's a new line of art materials out there. Um, art Everybody says Arteza, but when I see their ads, it says Arteza. Um, A-R-T-E-Z-A. 
Um, I saw that they have a pack of fine liner um, four, 0.4 millimeter tips. So they'll be just about the size of an 05 micron, um, which is a little bit thicker than I would normally want to draw with. So I'm hesitant to try them just because, but I'm thinking maybe I need to buy a pack anyway and just give it a go because um, they're cheap. But they might not be waterproof because they're a water, they're not pigment ink, they're a water-based ink. So they might be more like a Sharpie pen, which would not be, be okay for just drawing, but it would not be good if I wanted to use wet media and use uh, watercolors or whatever to color my tile. So I'm not sure. But I'm thinking maybe I'll buy a set because right now they're, if I remember right, I'm trying to remember what I saw on the ad. They're only like $9, but you get like a dozen of them. So they're super cheap. But I thought maybe if they work well enough, that they would be a good alternative for people who don't have a lot of money to spend on pens, but are able to get that fine liner sort of look rather than um, than using the microns. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you think that that would be useful for me to um, to try, you know, I, I like to try different kinds of pens um, and see what works and what doesn't. If that would be uh, useful information for you, I will, the next time I get a check from Google, which seems to be about every three or four months, um, I don't remember when was the last time, but that's, that's what I'm using for art supplies. Uh, next time I get a payment, maybe I'll, I'll buy those pens and see how they work. So let me know if you think that would be interesting. And I'll keep it in mind. Or if you've used them and you already know if they're no good, let me know that too so I don't waste my money. Um, I don't mind spending um, some money for a good art supply. I just don't like wasting money on bad art supplies. Does that make sense? And I'm not, I don't have just money laying around to just try things. I know some YouTube channels, that's what they do. They, you know, they have, they have a budget for buying art supplies, whether they're good art supplies or bad art supplies. And then they do a video, you know, I, I made this art with these cheap supplies or with these expensive supplies or whatever, you know. Um, and they do lots of reviews and, and such. I just don't have the money or the budget for that. But like I said, if you've used, if you've used those Arteza or Arteza black fine liners that come in that, that package of, it's 10 or 12 or something along those lines. If you've used them, let me know what you think. I'd be interested in finding out. I don't know that I've seen, I guess I, I suppose I could 
use the YouTube search and see if anybody has a review of them. That would probably be a wise move before I spend my money. And see if it looks like they'd be worthwhile. It's a little needs a just doing where they overlap here on the on the sand swirl. I love this pattern. Sand swirl is one of one of my go-to's when I don't know what to put in somewhere. It, it's pretty simple. It's quick. I don't have to think. And it looks beautiful. I think I want a little shading on my whatever the name of this tangle was, which I have already forgotten. See, I, I do that. Rango liner. I do this side. Stay all to the one side. Like that. Okay, I'm going to erase my border because I didn't use it. Like that. Oh, it's very pretty. Okay, I'm feeling better about myself today. I'm already feeling a little less stressed, a little less anxious. Um, I will continue to draw got a couple more before the end of the week. Uh, a few more patterns to do. R A N G O L I L I N E R. Ringoli liner with a little sand swirl. All right, this one went a little longer than it probably needed to, but I I needed the mental health time, so you guys came along on the journey with me. I will see you guys tomorrow. Go out and do something nice for someone today. You know, if you know somebody who's going through some really stressful times, and especially somebody that you know that has anxiety disorders, um, I have found that when somebody asks me, how is your day and really means it, Sometimes that triggers me. Um, yeah, sometimes it does. And it sends me into a panic attack, which is not the fault of the person who's honestly, truly caring about me. Um, it's my issue. But it does. I think it really touches my heart. And I end up losing it. So, um much better, at least for me, is for somebody to just reach out and say, I hope you're having a better day today. That doesn't send me into a tailspin. So, or just give me a hug. Just come up, give me a hug. And uh, so, you know, if you know somebody who's got anxiety disorder, talk with them about um, how... Say, you know, I want to support you. What is the best way that I can support you? Because somebody else's anxieties need to be, maybe they do need somebody to look at them in the eye and say, how are you doing today? Really, seriously, how are you doing today? Um, and maybe, like me, it becomes a trigger and I, I lose it. So, um, you know, ask them, what do you need me to do to help you get through those anxious moments. That would be a great conversation to have with somebody you know who has anxiety disorder. Really it would. 
So if I've helped one person who either has anxiety or who knows somebody with anxiety and, and, and can have that conversation, I think I will have done my job for today. Not counting the, the, the tangle. That's secondary. It's always secondary. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a really, really great day. And I'll be back. I'm going to go take a walk.